Well guys, now that we have unlimited power, we can have unlimited everything. So today we're gonna be completely revamping the factory to make it 100% efficient. And finally unlock our factory's true potential. Hello everyone, I'm Kibitz and welcome back to Satisfactory. Where last time we got coal online in a big way and built a dozen coal power plants solving our power problems for the next long, long time. And we also developed an automatic highway system with self-driving tractors that picks up and delivers coal to our factory here. Check this out. Such a cool system that I still haven't redrawn the pass for. And then after dealing with all of this, we kind of dabbled in steel production. Essentially, we built our first foundry, we got it automated, and it's working Meh. It works. Not efficient at all though. And that's kind of going to be the theme of today, is optimizing efficiency. Because I want things to be running a thousand times better. Because we are going to go and overclock the world, baby. And optimize all of our production lines. As well as add new ones. So if you're excited for this, remember to leave a like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Alrighty though, with the efficiency of our factory here, we gotta start at the ground and go up. Because every inefficiency at every level is going to stack and stack and stack, so by the time we're like producing late game items, it's gonna be very very slow. We need the first stage to be as optimized as possible. And the furnace design we have right now, it is... It, it's good, but it's not very fast. Because with the 120 uh, uh, copper ore over there that we're producing, that could run four smelters constantly at once. Whereas this one, it's only like the first two that are running, and then they kind of back up and sometimes the third is. So, although it is modular, and if we kept upgrading our conveyor belts and our miner, we could expand it, it's not very fast right now. So instead, I switched some things up. And so here is the upgraded model here. This is the iron side, which is all complete. And this is how it works, essentially. Right at the miners, I split up the belt so that each belt you see here will have the full 60 iron ore. And then, when they enter, they'll essentially go to another splitter, split 30 into one smelter, and 30 into the other. So these will both be running at full speed. Then the next line comes in, same thing, and same over here. So essentially, we're gonna have four smelters, no, sorry, eight smelters running at maximum efficiency. Yeah. So that is up from <laughs> the four and a bit? Yeah. So that like doubles our iron production using the same amount of power and the same miners. So it's pretty good. It's pretty good. But what's even better guys? Oh my god, what's even better are these. Oh my goodness, we unlocked them the other day. They're the conveyor pole stackers. Dude, these are like a godsend. I did not realize the potential. But oh, brother. We can do some wild and crazy things with these. So I have been reorganizing all of the lines and so nice. It's so nice. We are able to fit in so many more into such a condensed space. It's beautiful. And the best thing of all actually is I gotta show you this really quick. So with these guys, you can make super condensed item elevators. Essentially, you put one down Go one, two, three, four, put another. Go over a little bit, bada boom, bada bang. And you can stack them super easily. So bada boom, bada bang, bada pow, bada, I don't know, insert weird noise. <laughs> so you can have them sent essentially like this. And look at this, look at this. Boom, turns around, and then you keep going up. Pretty neat, eh? And then of course you can keep on looping it however how you want. 
And you can even put in two belts here, so you could have one running right underneath. So that's pretty compact, pretty convenient. And oh my god, I kind of switched up all of our conveyor belts in the base. Be using them. So now we have lines on lines on lines. Moving on up. What is this? Two, four, six? Six lines coming up from downstairs using the same space that the old four lines used. So it's pretty good. It's a little bit more efficient, I'd say. So now that we're efficiently making iron, it's time to optimize. So how our factory was working was we brought the iron ingots directly to the start of these production lines. It would go in through a variety of assemblers and um, constructors and machines. And out the other end would come the final product. So this again, kind of like the smelter array, it works, but it's not that good because the timings for making all the parts are all different. So it's like, one iron plate per 15 minutes, and then with screws, it's like different iron rods, it's the same. Yeah, screws is all weird, like six screws in 90 minutes. Blah, 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 blah. All the times are super, super weird. So by the end of the day, when it gets to the assemblers, it's never matched. Like you can see, we have like a billion plates here and not enough screws. So there's a lot of weird things like that. A lot of weird things like that and it makes for a lot of idle machines. And I wanna completely get rid of that by changing things up. So the new plan, instead of, ooh, I was indecisive there. Whoops, back up here. Uh, the new plan, make things a little bit better, is I wanna optimize every single thing. So every tier one thing will be optimized, every tier two thing optimized, etc., etc so that we don't have to worry about having a production line that's long and inefficient. We'll have all of our tier one stuff made here as fast as possible, and then all of our tier two stuff made on the next floor as fast as possible. Tier three, four, five, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, off into space. And this system is almost necessary too, because a lot of these late game things like heavy modular frames require, of course, the modular frame, and some like tier one crafting stuff as well, and some tier two crafting stuff. So by having every part of this optimized and bringing it together, there'll be no bottlenecks and we can produce things like that, like super, super, super quick. At least that's the new idea, but I think we should probably test out the new smelter before we move on here, so. Just have to put on a couple new belts. No, 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 no. These ladders, man. <laughs> so all we have to do is add on the belts and the thing should be fired up and ready to go. That's rolling. Excellent, two belts are moving. Let's get this one online. What? Hello? Okay, it's too close, big whoops, that's fine. We'll get this one online, we'll move this a little bit. Bada boom, bada bang, bada pow. And then this will all be ready to go. There we go. And our iron is flowing in, brother. It's flowing in. Gorgeous. Also, aside from these lines, I added on two more iron nodes that are just over here. We'll get them online too. Gotta find out where my power's at. Unfortunately, with these two nodes over here, they're impure, so they're really, really slow, and I have to use the tier two miners to make them keep pace. Let's just bring over the power, kind of haphazardly. I don't really care how things are out in nature here. Like, they can be a little messy, that's fine. Generally speaking, I just want the factories to be organized. That there. Let's bring these back. Hook it up. And they're rocking and rolling. Yeah, so the impure will take a little bit of time. So it's 60 per minute, which is the same as our normal nodes down there. Are we running or 
Oh, it's just like a super, super slow startup time. Okay, I got you then. Well, that's 60, this is 60. We're rocking and rolling, brother. We're rocking and rolling. Let's see how our furnaces are doing. All right, so looks good. This is running full throttle. Yep, not really even stacking up. This one, same deal. So these are both 60 lines and then it merges together onto a 120 line. Like this one's going. This one's going. What's up with that though? It's a little slow. I guess the iron's still kind of stacking up here. Well, that's fine. And then it's all whirling together going to the next floor. So yep, up here it's flowing. It's looking beautiful. Look at those Mark II belts. So good. So good. And we're making some iron plates. I... And actually doing this, I ran out of all of my iron plates. So I've used thousands in optimizing this factory. So really, really nice to have some automation back and going. But yep, with this working, I guess it's time to start on the level one factory stuff. So I'll organize it a bit better and we'll go from here. So there it is, right there. That is perfection. The number never goes higher. It never goes lower. That's it. That is perfect. All right, so this is the first line, just for plates, essentially. 120 in can run four instructors, all making the plates. So 120 ingots are turning into 120 plates at a one-to-one -one ratio. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. And I just have to do that now with Iron rods, copper wires, concrete, steel beams, and pipes. So, lots to still do. Lots to still do. But with this system, things are gonna be a million times easier later on. Oh my god, guys, it is a night and day difference. How much better my factory is gonna be here. So, I have unlocked the potential in the nodes around me and we are producing it all man okay so all tier one stuff is dealt with except for the steel stuff but pretty much what i showed you before was just a plate little factory i doubled that so we have two lines coming from downstairs into this to make plates and then we have a one line going upstairs to go and make the iron rods and oh my god, it's just, it, it, it's crazy. I had no idea the amount of iron that was pumping in here could produce so much. So we have four constructors making pipes and we have eight constructors making plates because the plates just take so long. Wanna have a lot and they're usually a bottleneck. Then over on the copper side, <laughs> like pasha, pasha. I can't even use all the copper I'm getting. So essentially, I have one copper node. I switched it out to an MK, oops, an MK2 version. Switched over the uh, smelters downstairs to the new uh, design I've made up. And yeah, we're producing so much that I, I, I cannot, I cannot even use it all. I have four constructors already making the wire and that soon will be making the uh, cables, which are just a step up the production chain. And that's only using half the copper. Like, I still have a whole extra thing here to set up. But I think I'm just gonna leave it because honestly, <laughs> this, this is enough copper cable for a long time. So now, the big thing is going to be steel. Steel, steel, steel. So I expanded our system over down here to the highway. Adding in some more iron ingot smelters just to supply upstairs. I think these ones go to the iron rods. And then over here, aha, uh -huh, we have our foundries. So what I got set up here is I have three. So with the numbers with them, they're really strange. Like 45 and 45 coal. And I... I I got a decent system here. It's like the overflow system that we had before for the iron. 
because I don't think I'm gonna have enough uh, coal. Anyway, though, we have... Is this 120? No, it's 60. 60? This should be 120. What am I doing? I don't know. Well, for now, it's 60 being split up between the three. So that's 20 each. And the coal is split up as well from the one node. So 20 each. It's not 100% efficient, but for now, it will do. We'll expand it a little later on. And then from here, we need to turn this into pipes and steel beams. Steel pipes and steel beams. So let's connect this line. I'm gonna bring it all the way down here, I think. Very good, very good. And then we're gonna connect it up to here. I have no idea where that line goes, to be perfectly honest. I've been at this all freaking day, man, so... Everything just goes everywhere. We'll find out where it goes in a moment. But for now, let's get it moving, get it grooving, and see where this takes us. Ooh, and this is a little awkward. It's right in the middle of everything. Hmm. Okay. Um. Actually, I think we can make this work. I'll have to actually bring this tower and make it higher because I have this line already going to the next floor, so making this line go a little bit higher too, it kind of makes sense. And then maybe maybe this line at the end that's unused right now will go all the way up to like fifth floor or something. I'm not sure, but for now, we gotta raise the roof or the twirly belt system. All right, yeah, that should work out a bit better here. Oh my god, this is so tall. I love it, absolutely love it. Let's do some parkour. So the iron's gonna come through here and go into the pipe facility. And the, oh, don't get hurt, thank you. And then the steel is gonna head way, way, way up to the top floor. So let's let her rip, let things move and smooth up there. Bada boom, and off it goes. Now I have to set up a quick buffer, just so we don't waste any of the iron we're producing. And we go from there. Oh, and check this out, guys, check this out. Oh, dang, oh, I don't have the thing here. Okay, one more time, one more time. Ah, and, oh, dang it. One more time. There we go. You can get like some crazy cool angles with the uh, bounce pad there. And sometimes I can even get like all the way to the other side of the floor. It's sick! And oh my god. Dang, these belts are so fast! Brother! Can't even keep up. So let's add in just a quick buffer here. There we go. Throw that in. And bada boom! So now we need to make a few couple things. So if this is bringing in 120 a minute, let's run some numbers here. Or let's check the numbers at the very least. So, power for that, just for a moment. Let's check her out. The pipes, one steel ingot, and every, and 15 per minute, makes one steel pipe at 15 per minute. Okay, so that's the exact same ratio as the copper cables. So that, what that means is I can make four of these, four constructors for steel pipes, with half of our production here. Oh, that is so cool, man! Sorry. <laughs> and then, <laughs> with the other half, we'll use it for the other thing, the steel beams, which are three steel ingots for one. Gonna have to figure out the ratio there. Do a little bit of testing. But for now, I'll just get the pipes online because that's gonna take like literally two seconds here. Okay, yeah, it was pretty straightforward. I'm gonna have to relook into the production, but once we get that to 120, this should work out. So uh, these four machines will be making the pipes and they'll make them super, super quick. I think they will bottleneck uh, on this like merger here. 
So I have them all going in and then merging together onto one lane. And that can only handle 120, and I think we're gonna make like 240 in this, so... Yeah, I don't know how well us is gonna do for now. And then as for the... What are they? I cannot remember the name for the life of me, man. There are so many items I'd be messing with today. There they are. The steel beams. The steel beams, I think... We'll go 60 into one machine. And we're just gonna see how the timing is for now. I think it will work out. Like, maybe not perfectly, but pretty well. Just because it takes three uh, steel to make one. So, I, I'm not sure. We're gonna see right now. Because I'm gonna plug it in and let it ride. Sure, we've built up a decent chunk of steel here for a good test. Yep. Even have some extras in my inventory, so I think it's uh I hold control and drag. That drag's all the same type. Good. And let's let her rip. There we go. So half of it splitting off into these, half of it splitting down to the beam area. How we doing? It's not a Hit two belt? That isn't. That doesn't need to be. Yeah, yeah, hold up, hold up. There we go. I was wondering, it, it seems so slow. Like, <laughs> I just got the Mark II uh, belts, but man, I've already adjusted to them now. They seem only mediocre. I gotta get the next tier of belts soon. Looking at things, are we all running? No yellow flashy flashy is okay. Come on. All green. Alright. Next one. Hmm. Wait, and why is that? It's still in there. Can I not connect a line? No. That makes sense. We've got a couple lines back here, but most of them are moving out. I think the timing problem now is just that the lines are physically too long, at least to this area. So if we upgrade them just for the movement speed, should even out and work out a bit better here. Do that. At least I think, I hope, I don't, I'm not sure. Might be a problem back here. Is this, I swear this is moving slower. I must be crazy. I gotta be crazy. Hmm. And yeah, because our production isn't like perfect right now. Not running 100%, but this seems to be working well enough. They're all green right now. Some are turning yellow once in a while. Something I'm gonna have to monitor. Yeah. But we do have automated steel pipes now, so hey, there's that. Oh, and now for the mess. How's this doing? Three, four, five, six, okay. That's kind of good and kind of bad. So this is running full throttle then, but it's, it's still kind of slow. And I think we need these as another crafting material in further projects, so that might become an issue. Might become an issue. We'll see, we'll see. Definitely gonna have to take another look at the uh, foundry layout I have going. Need to improve that somehow. Okay, so I've been checking on this and I have some ideas. Number one, I thought I had to upgrade this line. I don't actually, because the miner it's attached to is only producing 60 ore at a time. So that's fine. Then, over here, the coal. The coal is kind of being our bottleneck. And just distributing stuff as well. Like, this one's overloaded. Exactly, right? I'm gonna have to switch that up a little bit here. And my idea here is to make a bunch of... Uh, uh, containers. So the containers will even out everything. So every single machine will be getting the same amount of stuff at the same pace. At least that's the hope. Gonna give it a shot here. Have plenty of room to work with, so I'm sure I'll figure out 
at least something better. Okay, guys, guys, guys. I'm gonna forewarn you. Just keep calm here and relax. Because I might just blow your mind. Okay? Okay. So, <laughs> check this out. It's incredible. It's amazing. But wouldn't you know it that these splitters split things three ways? That's just how they're built. It's like, oh, I, it's like, it's incredible. It's amazing. It's wild. So now, oh my goodness, we can split coal three ways evenly. It's a miracle. I can't believe it. I know. I know. I'm just as shocked as you are. And I did the same thing for the iron ore too. And look at that. Look at that. The whole system is perfect. Isn't that absolutely insane? But there's more. But there's more. I have doubled the amount of coal I have. How the heck did you do that, Kibitz? Let me show you. Let me show you. Oh my sweet goodness. Check out this wild, crazy idea. So when the coal gets dropped off here by the truck, it now enters a storage container. Okay, okay. Again, relax. Don't freak out. But then, oh my gosh. I split up the coal into two separate lines so I can actually use it all instead of letting it back up constantly. I'm not gonna lie, I had to take a aspirin after I after I did that. I I was freaking out, man. I could not believe it. Could not believe it. Only small thing is that's not it perfectly even, so let's just tuck these guys in nice and close. Make that absolutely perfect. <laughs> and encroaching clearance, what do you mean? I don't know what clearance is, game. Don't even front. Don't even front. It's right there! Oh my god. Okay. Anyway, that's not the only big thing. Because guess what? Guess what? I found out how to get iron in the perfect amounts over to uh, the foundries as well. And I don't just mean by, like, having it go through the splitter. Oh, no, 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 no. I mean how to get exactly 180 iron ore to that splitter. Okay, there we go. That's better. Anyway, though, we got to grab the truck. Where's my truck at? Wait. It's literally right beside me. I planned this out. <laughs> okay. So how are we going to bring exactly 180 iron ore to the smelter? No, foundry area. Check it out. It can come directly from our miner. Because guess what? It's an impure node. Meaning, instead of doing 120 or a minute, it does 60. And you know what that means? If we can overclock it twice, bada boom, bada pang, that's 180, brother! And that's exactly what we need! It's like, oh! That actually blew my mind. I was like, no way. I didn't even plan that, had no idea. I was like, oh, an impure node? Oh, it can't make as much. That's so bad. Who? Who? No, it's actually the best thing literally ever because now we can have a perfectly efficient foundry area. So the only thing right now is we need better conveyor belts. Some that can go up to 180. So come with me, Truckerino. And I think, I'm, no, I'm, I'm, sure, I'm sure there's a Mark III. I'm just hoping it does at least 180. And look at all this iron ore now, eh? Absolutely insane. Absolutely insane. So where is next thing? Purple shards? I think we need those too. But mainly, aha! So 270. It's a little overkill, but that's fine. Because guess what? It can handle the 180, and that's all we need. So it works, and we get better storage containers. That's okay, sure, <laughs> no big deal. But yep, that's all we need right there. So it looks like I need a couple engines for that, and then we need 
power shards. I don't even think I have these researched. Let me... Let me check. How do you make a power shard? I haven't even made one yet. Need a green power slug. I have a trillion of those, right? A uh, trillion as in four. Okay. Got the green one. And then... Uh, how do we make the next one? We have to... Need the purple one. So I need a little bit more stuff. Okay, there we go. Easy peasy purple power shards and away! Very cool, very cool. It's been a long time since I saw this rocket go up, man. How many hours have I spent on this? <laughs> Almost 40 hours now. Yeah, I've been working on the factory for a while. These upgrades have literally taken the last 12 hours. Or more. Anyway, that's fantastic. How do you make the purple shard? Please, not a purple slug. Purple power slug, of course it takes a purple power slug. I have an extra purple power slug, oh my god. I can't handle this man, I'm freaking out. I'm freaking out. Oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god, the luck. I, oh, <laughs> I'm actually freaking out. Okay, okay, calm down, calm down. Okay, now we need this. Modular frames, we got them. How do you make a motor? Let me guess, that's a bunch of steel. What the? What the? That's it? Rotors and stators? Okay, well, I can craft these things. You know what? We're gonna craft it. We're not gonna automate it today, but we're gonna craft it and we're gonna get her, get her going. Alrighty, finally got everything here so we can get the new conveyor belts and have everything optimized. Oh yeah, and that, where did I get these from? Uh, the, what was it, the purple power slug? It didn't make like a special power shard or anything, it just made five. So, that's cool, <laughs> I guess. So yeah, there we go. And now we just need to launch the pod. Bada boom! Logistics MK3! Milestone reached. Logistics have improved by the means of a container with increased storage capacity and enhanced conveyor belt efficiency. Hooray! Okay. Now, what the scary part. What does it take to make these? Oh my gosh, a thing I literally just automated. Those steel beams! Dude! Well, we're gonna put those on number eight. We're gonna gather up all of our steel beams and upgrade that one line, then have perfect steel production. So how many do we have so far? A couple stacks. That'll absolutely do. This can scoot out of there, please, and thank you. Now I just have to get over to our miner. Alrighty, so let's check this out. We put in just one by one. Okay. And now we can go blap. Now we're making 90. Excellent. And... It stopped. Why? Ah, there we go. 120. Wait, no. I can't do math. 30? We needed 90. Hold up. We only needed one power shard. Oh. Oh, well then we're fine. Now I have five extra power shards. I guess we'll use them a little later on. Let's take you out. Julio. Why are you slowing down so much? Oh, because the line isn't replaced yet. Alrighty. So, conveyor belt mark three. Holy snap. That's some freaking speed, brother. Oh my, oh my god. This is the best. This is what I'm talking about! <laughs> this game is so fun! It even makes upgrading fun! Oh, big oof. <laughs> that should be my personal transport! Holy! We can cross the map in like two seconds flat! That's faster than my tractor! What the heck, man? Oh my god, that is just too much fun! game's one of my favorites, man. It is just so good. Just so good. So now we just upgrade you. 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 
And we're pretty much done here. Oh my gosh. It's gonna be so cool to see this thing running like at 100%. We're gonna have so much steel stuff. Dude. I can't believe this uses the steel beams too. Like, <laughs> the odds are actually insane. Alrighty though. <laughs> that thing is dangerous, brother. Launches ya. Okay. With that done, all we got to do is upgrade you to a number four. There we go. What? What? There we go. R3. There we go. There we go. And the bada boom. So I'll split 60, 60, 60. That's 180. And last of all, we just have to upgrade this last line over here. Now, hopefully the coal can keep up, like the trucking. We might have to upgrade some of the coal plant stuff, but, you know, honestly, I think we'll be fine. Guess we'll find out if the power all goes out. <laughs> God, I just escaped from that problem. I would hate to have to go back to it. Okay, though. Come on. Come on. Go. No easy way up there. All right. <laughs> I'm actually just having too much fun. This game, oh. Can't believe it. Okay, we do that. And we do this. Is that gonna be fine? I think so. Holy snap, is that rocking and rolling? How's the stock in here? It's going down. Fine. Truck's coming up, could not be better timing, truck. And that completely refills it, so we're we're still fine on coal. Okay. Is that enough now? We need that new line we just put in to be moving 180 coal at least. So if it has 280, 280 is 160. I'm just thinking here, way back over there, it splits between 120 and wait yeah how much does this do again 270 120 and 270 yeah it should be about right it should be about right at least when the power plants aren't all running it should be fine yeah we're doing fine on power all right so that means this is like oh my god it's like pretty much backed up it's backing up! I can add even on even more! Oh my god, I am so happy. I am so happy. We can have all this steel in the world. All of our lines are fully upgraded, dude. Ah. Oh, what a good time this has been. Oh, and you guys, I spotted it. Don't you worry, I spotted the problem. So you can delete that comment you're typing right now. Like I said, this needs to do 180, not just 90. So, I think I can just add in more power shards. They get 200%, and then one more. There we go. To make it to 180. What is that, Two, 250? No. 150. Wait, what? That's not right. You come with me again. 120. Let's put it back down to 90. Oh, is that a glitch? Must be a glitch. There we go. Okay, that's fine still. That's fine still because guess what? We have two impure nodes. And guess what? There's baby. We can just have one of these two. So 90 and 90 equals 180. All we gotta do is cute these two together so come with me stop stop you stop too I guess this entire line's useless now I guess I'll figure out something to do with it later on but right now we just have to merge these so splitter no merger yes put it right off in front of you there we go if it's producing 120 we just need a tier 2 line no, it's producing 90. Yeah, 90, 90, 90. The numbers, Mason. So many numbers. So much math. 
And then you come over. Get it straight so when I see this in the distance, I'm not... My OCD doesn't freak me out. No. Ah! There we go. That's pretty decent. Now all we have to do is add on that last line here. So that's going to connect up to here. Is this the upgraded line? No. This one is. Yeah, that's why it's empty because it's actually using stuff. Very cool, very cool, very cool. So that means... <laughs> this is still so much fun! Oh no! <laughs> okay, there we go. That means we have an extra line here. I don't know what we're gonna do with it. I don't know, maybe there's another coal node or uh, iron node around? That'd be neat. I don't know. We'll figure it out next time. Right now, I know with that, we're gonna have perfect steel production. All of our other tier one stuff is fully and perfectly optimized as well. So I'm happy. I'm happy, happy, happy. Look at all the steel. All those gaps can be filled in once our new line comes in and actually, you know, provides the iron. These are working well, right? Absolutely, wait. Wait. It was over, it had too much stuff in it. Why is it stopping? Why are you stopping? Stop, stop stopping. That's not a tier two. That's why. There we go. Now it should be perfectly steady now, right? Yeah. Just need the next batch of iron coming in. Oh my god. Whoa. Whoa. Them Mark threes, boy. So fast. So fast. Let's check here. Yeah, it's filling up. This thing's actually really slow. Yeah, we might be able to even, like, double our production here. I'm not sure. I'll have to double check the numbers. But for now... This should be perfect, right? Yeah. Why isn't it perfect? Because it's three. It needs to be four, and that'll fill in the last gap. That's why. Okay. So it's no fault of my own. It's actually fine. For how it is right now. <laughs> However, I think since it's already backing up, maybe I did some math wrong. However, we're going to flip this around so all the machines are facing the other direction. So essentially... We'll be facing like this, and the coal and the iron will come down the middle, and then the steel will pop out the end, and then we'll send it up to like the top floor for production purposes. And then we're all good! And next time... <laughs> everything else can be automated super efficiently and extremely easily. Like, this is the hard part. All we have to do is set up some assemblers now, put down a few more floors up a little higher, and it's gonna be a one, two, blah, blah, blah. Easy, easy, easy. And then maybe also <laughs> we can decorate a bit last uh, next time as well. Because, whew, tearing apart my base has made it a little weird looking. Anyway, though, I think that is gonna be all for today. So hope you guys enjoyed. I know we didn't, like, really move ahead in the game all that much. Like, we didn't unlock much or play around with new things. Just optimizing and increasing efficiency today. But you know what? That's going to help us later because I'm sure we're going to need to send a ton more stuff to space. So again, that's going to be all here. So if you guys enjoyed, remember to leave a like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. And I hope to see you in the next one. So have a fantastic rest of your day. And bye-bye.